Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. We are Meg and Morgs and the sun has finally arrived in Laos. We are in Nong Kyo, which is where today's video will be and we arrived here this morning. Yeah, so we got the bus over from um, Luang Prabang where we spent the past few days. The weather's slowly and surely been getting better and better and um, this was the place that we really wanted the weather to be good just because there's so many sort of like mountainous views and a couple of different hikes and things like that. So it really needs to be good weather when you're here. But the sun has finally come out after probably without we haven't had weather like this since we were down in Don Dep, no. that was probably over two weeks ago yeah so it's perfect timing um it is quite hot to be hiking but it is what it is I mean you need the good weather for the We've good got views lots of water. we'll be okay yeah we will be um the bus this morning cost 150 thousand kit it took about three and a half hours which was actually pretty good and the roads were all right yeah they weren't too bad at all yeah so we were pleasantly su surprised about that and also um We've got to go back that way to fly out of the country in a few days. Yes, yeah, so we arrived into like a bus station and then we jumped in a tuk-tuk with everyone else pretty much. And that was 10,000 each from there to our guest house. But I'll show you on Google Maps, like the town is tiny. There's a couple of places to stay, a couple of places to eat. And then, I mean, there's probably more different viewpoint hikes than there is sort of like guest houses here. But it's a lovely, quiet vibe. Yeah, you need one. Yeah, and our place where we're staying, I think it's like Meek Song. Um, guest house. I mean, they've got like Wi-Fi, yeah, exactly. air conditioning, and stuff like that. Like you're never sort of completely disconnected, unless obviously you want to be. They do like um, multi-day hiking trips into the into the forest and the jungle and stuff here as well, which you can do. And yeah, it's brilliant. But um, we've got a viewpoint hike to do now. We've just had some lunch at a lovely little restaurant about two meters from our guest house, and um, and that's cost. 90,000 for two meals and a drink and the portions were big. Yeah, the portions were a bit too big. I've, at least we're well fueled for the hike. Yeah. So we are going up there, I think to... There. Maybe up there. the start of the trail. Looks pretty shaded so I think we should be alright. Look at the mosquitoes. Oh dear. Just everywhere. Definitely bring some uh, bug spray on this one. Yeah, it's not helping that much, but I think, you know, if you don't have bug spray, you'll be even worse off, to be honest. But yeah, we're definitely still getting a couple bites, but it's just not nice because you can't really stop because then they all congregate around you. But then obviously it's so hot and humid that you've got to keep going and you keep feeling like your sweat dripping off you and you think it's like a mosquito or something on you. I think we're about a quarter to a third of the way. So um, it's been like 15 minutes or so. It's just Bruce, although these conditions are just like not the one for hiking really, but this viewpoint's supposed to be amazing. So hopefully it's worth it. Probably might not film so much just because I'm focusing, getting my head down. Meg's already powering away ahead, but yeah, brutal. Halfway. Starting to see some views now. We're about three quarters in, in a cloud of mosquitoes you can probably see. We're absolutely dripping in sweat. Oh, it's so brutal. The reason why we're doing it's just it in like the... like straight up. Yeah, the reason why we're doing it in the midday heat as well is just... One, because we thought there would be less mosquitoes, but there isn't. <laughs> And then two, just because we're so grateful that the weather's nice and we know that we can't rely on it staying that way. And also, so like, we want you to get the best views. You wouldn't want to come for sunset because, like, it's so uneven. Yeah, the There's ground no, is like, crazy. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll cut to the top. Last push till the end. Made it. How are you feeling, Morgan? Well, where are we? <laughs> that was all right. Just brutal. 
Your face looks the same colour as your shirt. Sums it up really, doesn't it? We made it! That was tough. That was so tough. That last 15 minutes. That was one of the harder. Took half an hour. <laughs> yeah. That was one of the harder one hour hikes that we've ever done, I would say. I would agree with that. It was completely vertical, straight up. And I mean, you can see from these views that we've got about sort of like, it shouldn't have really just took an hour basically to go up this high. Oh, the views are insane. But yeah, it was pretty brutal, but um, we're here now, so it's all right. And we were sort of debating earlier about maybe we'll go on a hike tomorrow and do another viewpoint. At least we don't need like to that. debate anymore because the answer's no. Well, that's definitely not happening, is it? <laughs> Oh, we're shattered. Yeah. We've drank a litre and a half of water, so we've only got half left. But um, just, yeah, make sure to bring water if you're doing this. And, you know, I would recommend, like, come in early in the morning, maybe. Yeah. If you sort of just, like, finish breakfast and then come up. Or, like, just before sunset. And then just so you're not doing it in the dark as well, because that would be Yeah, going quite down unsafe. in the dark would be horrible. Or coming up, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. Or maybe just do it first thing in the morning, just after breakfast or just before breakfast after sunrise. It's, very, it's really worth doing. It is. But it is brutal. Like, yeah, it will test yourself. you. It will test you. Heading down. The clouds are going in, uh, coming in as well now. So this was the bit at the end. You, know, you can kind of see that you're getting towards the end, but it's just straight up. Luckily, they've got these little cable things along the side that you can support yourself on, but even. Oh, right, I'm still getting eaten by mosquitoes, so I'll carry on. The weather changes quick in Southeast Asia. I know, it was just sunny at the top and then we started getting a bit of thunder on our way down and then now. I'm so glad we got to the bottom. I feel bad there was a couple going up when we were coming down and they would just be up there in this. It would be so slippery. It's another glorious afternoon here in Nongkyo. We uh, woke up to rain and um, some very misty cloudy mountains but um, it's cleared up again and it's kind of like how it was when we arrived yesterday. Yesterday, Aren't yeah. You, so and also we've seen some videos of Nongkyo in sort of like the dry season and it's often quite misty and cloudy in the morning so yeah. it might just be like that's the theme you know regardless and i think might maybe just because of the the tall mountains sort of surrounding everywhere that it sort of leaves a it's just beautiful here though. oh it's very pretty yeah the thing is some of the main things to do are sort of like kayaking on the river but as i'm sure you can imagine with the amount of rainfall like the current's just too high for us to go kayaking um, and then there's a nearby village which is very popular to go visit but they only have one departure to get there a day. Yeah, it's like a boat season. trip. Um, so then you would have to stay overnight and come back tomorrow. But unfortunately, we don't have the luxury of time here because we've got our flight to our next country on Thursday. Um, and that's in um, two days' time, basically. So basically, we're just deciding to walk around, enjoy all the mountains in the background, you know, take maybe see if we can get a boat trip somewhere who knows yeah so we're just gonna have a little walk around but um no uh no second viewpoint hike today i don't think no.
just had about an hour's worth of torrential downpour. Luckily, yeah. we were we were having some lunch at the time. It's crazy though; it changes up so quickly. It's sunshine now. Yeah, and also I would bring um, some extra money if you come here as well. The um, I think it's the BCEL ATMs. We found them not to work very well with our yeah. They don't really like foreign cards for whatever reason. Yeah, but we use like um, either Monzo cards. Um, so maybe if you got a different one, it'll work. But, but yeah, so we had to sort that out with one of the um, like the tour operator places, and we booked our bus with them. You can do it where you like pay them. Charged us 50,000 in exchange to, for them giving us cash. Yeah, so it's a bit more expensive than what the ATM was, but we didn't realize they wouldn't like the ATMs wouldn't work here, so it's maybe like bring some extra cash. Difference from an ATM. We yeah, booked our bus back for tomorrow now. Um, it's a bit cheaper this way, so non cure to Luang Prabang is 110 each, and then there's a reasonable. for a three and a half hour journey. We had some nice lunch and now um, we can have a little walk back. I think we need to pop to the pharmacy because we've run out of cream for our insect bites. Yeah, we got absolutely... Well, we got badly bitten yesterday, but I mean, not as bad as it could have been if yeah. we didn't have the bug spray. We used like a whole bottle. Because <laughs> there was just absolute clouds of them. Yeah. But yeah, the rain's stopped now and looks like it Making should... Making a break for it. Yeah. Heading for dinner on our final night here in Nongkyor. It's a shame that we've sort of had a bit of worse weather this afternoon after lunch. I mean, we had the blue skies come back out again after the downpour and then it's kind of just been raining since, so we haven't really been able to get up to much. We thought we might go on a, a sunset boat type trip or something along those lines, but not to be. But, um, you know, you've seen through our Lao vlogs what rainy season can be like and has been like for us just one of those things still really enjoyed our time here it's just crazy to think that coming to the end of another country it's a shame that we haven't been able to see as much of Lao as we might have wanted you know with the rain that we had in uh, Pakse, Takek and the NTN it just meant that we weren't able to explore those areas but just gives us a reason to come back. So this is the end of our time in Nong Kior. If we had longer, I think we would have liked to have gone up the river and visited the village. I think it's Mong Nyo, but we'll put the name of it on the screen and you can stay there. Um, it's just unfortunately we've got a flight to catch, so we're a bit constrained by both the time and the weather. Yeah, but you can spend a lot more time up here oh, than what, what we might have expected, really. There's a couple of viewpoints to do. I mean, if you can squeeze them in between the weather and if, obviously if it's dry season then that'll be perfect you can do trekking tours yeah. you have multiple boat trips like what meg said you can do and you can do sort of kayaking, kayaking yeah. but because we're obviously high up in the mountains and a lot of the um activities are either sort of like constrained by the weather or going out on the river yeah it's just meant that we can't do as much as what you might have been able to do in dry season so keep that in mind it's definitely well, still a that hike we did was worth coming up here for just for that yeah and it's definitely something that you can do in the in the wet season so don't count it out and also we really like this guest house that we're staying at yeah, the we would recommend it yeah for sure we are successfully back in Luang Prabang so we got the minivan earlier it took about four hours and the driver was trying to bluff us basically yeah he was trying to say that we didn't buy tickets to the south bus terminal which, which we, we did, did. And he said, oh, if you want to go to the South Bus Terminal or into the centre, then you have to pay me an extra 25,000. And it was like us and then also three other um, Western travellers. Yeah, who were helping us and they were showing us proof that it did say to the bus terminal. On our tickets and so stuff. So he was just trying to get extra money. Yeah, and eventually uh, we said to oh, get the guy on the phone. And then he rang him and with. then he was saying, oh, sorry, my mistake. I don't um, know. Maybe it was a an actual mix up but i mean it didn't the way, feel that way no i mean we've been in enough of those situations now not to not to fall for it which is a shame really for our last sort of like transport driver to try and take the mic because we haven't had a single negative experience with anyone since we've been here in Laos. but yeah. 
it was easily resolved by keeping a calm head and just yeah. keeping on the uh, on our story. But yeah, that's um, this it's our it last. Yeah, it's our last day. Um, we've got one night here, and then we head off to our next country, and we're flying there tomorrow. Um, you can also sort of head out of the country in many different ways. Really, you can get a slow boat over to Chiang Mai. You can get the bus to Sapa in Vietnam. Or anywhere in the, yeah, yeah. Like the north of Vietnam. But we really hope you've enjoyed this video and um, we've inspired you to sort of explore a bit more of Laos, get up to Nong Kure. Definitely. It's definitely worth, especially in the dry season, going there for a few more days than just sort of like a night or two, like what most people do. Or some people don't even visit at all. Yeah, I think a lot of people just do Rang Vieng and the Wang Phabang, but there's so much more to offer. Yeah, and we'll um, tell you all about everything that we've done in the country and some of the places that we researched but couldn't do, like the Takek Loop, for example, in our next video, which will be our um, Laos travel guide. But yeah, we really hope you've enjoyed this series, and um, we'll see you in the next next country, which will... is Thailand. I didn't know if we were going to oh, reveal yeah. it now. <laughs> I guess that's... Got too excited. But yeah, so we'll see you on our first video there when we'll be exploring Bangkok.